Wednesday evening everybody welcome back to another video and tonight I'm gonna be filming two videos my long-awaited Hellraiser retrospective is gonna be this video so I'm going to review the Hellbound Heart by Clive Barker the original Hellraiser and the remake of Hellraiser. So let's go ahead and get started with Clive Barker's novella of the Hellbound Heart. This book was released in 1986. So this came out the year before the original and uh, this was probably one of the most brutal goriest books I've ever read because it's about uh, this man named Frank Cotton who is not satisfied with his pleasure so he finds this box and he opens up a world of pain and pleasure and then the Cenobites show up to give him that pain and pleasure and it literally rips his soul apart so that's how this book begins and then you have like his brother and his uh, new wife move into the house with their well Kirsty is like the final girl and she is the daughter of Frank's brother so that would be Frank's niece. So basically, uh, Julie, which is the woman, loves Frank still instead of uh, Rory. I think that's his name in the book. So she wants to do everything to bring him back to his normal form because... He's basically like a brain and spinal cord starting off. But once he gets blood, he comes full again. So Julie has to kill men to bring Frank back. And that's pretty much the entire storyline. You don't even get Pinhead and the Cenobites until near the end of this. And of course it has that famous scene where Frank gets torn apart by hooks. It's one of the most brutal deaths I've ever seen in any horror movie. And I'm surprised that this movie even got an R rating because it could have been X. But uh, I really did enjoy this book. This is my second time reading it, and this time around, I actually gave it five stars. The first time around, I gave it four stars. But obviously, I really did like it a second time. So, if you haven't read this, I definitely recommend it if you're ready for that brutality. It's really, really short and very easy to read. So, those are my thoughts on The Hellbound Heart by Clive Barker. And let's move on to the 1987 classic Hellraiser. Now, like I said, Hellraiser is adapted from The Hellbound Heart, and it's basically the same story. So, huh. It's a really, really good movie. I haven't actually seen it all the way through. I've just seen bits and parts. But, uh, I mean, it literally follows the book almost to a T. I mean, there are some uh, aspects that are different because Kirsty has, like, a boyfriend and, like, a job at, like, a pet store. 
and that wasn't even mentioned in the book. So that's pretty much uh, some of the differences in the movie. But otherwise, the movie is beat for beat on its story. And I have to say, when Pinhead makes his entrance, it's pretty creepy. Especially with the Chatterer and his other companions. I'll probably uh, show you a picture here of everybody. So, they're basically in the BDSM and sadomasochism. And this is pretty much how I can uh, talk about Hellraiser because it follows the book very well. And overall, this movie for me, I need to watch it a few more times and maybe go through the Hellraiser uh, franchise. But I'm going to sit it at... I'm going to set it at a B for now. Because it's a classic, but it's not one of my favorites. So those are my thoughts on the original Hellraiser. And last night, finally, I watched the remake that came out to Hulu a couple of weeks ago. And uh, this is a new reinvention of... On the classic tale. This is about like a woman. Who is. A severe addict. To. Um, pills and alcohol. So. She goes to like rehab. And she's like with. A few friends of hers. And. You also get the. Introduction to Jamie Clayton. As the new. Pinhead, which I, forgot, which I forgot to mention, Doug Bradley is the original Pinhead and all of the Hellraisers before this. But she did a very, very good job playing the new Pinhead. I really enjoyed her performance. But to me, Doug Bradley is always Pinhead. So anyway, going back to the remake... There's a little bit more mythos with Lemon Shard's box because it has like six L's and the highest L is Leviathan and that basically means that whoever has that power becomes a god. So this woman is trying to stop this guy from becoming a god basically and uh, I watched this pretty much at late at night and I kind of like dozed all through it but what I saw was actually really really good so in the near future I do want to re-watch this movie because it has different ideas and I'm going to go ahead and give the remake of Hellraiser a B as well because I need to watch it a couple more times to fully understand what was even going on but uh those are my thoughts on the Hellbound Heart Hellraiser 1987 and Hellraiser 2022 hope you guys enjoyed and my next video up will be my Halloween Ends movie review. So I'll see you in a couple of minutes for that. Otherwise, this is the end of this video. I'll see you in a minute. Adios. Peace.